Hello guys, I have a exciting video for you today. Um, this is going to be a long video, but that's just because this Zippo is very exciting and deserving of a amazing video. Um, if you've been following anything in the Zippo collection within the last six months, you would know and hear all the chatter about this Zippo. This is the Zippo Copper. Um, this is not the first time Zippo has done copper. However, it's been a while. Um, and the case is 100% copper. And then this insert, as you can see, it's pretty unique. This is the first time they've done a black insert. Um, so it's a matte black finished copper. Um, this on the Zippo website, it actually comes out to 75, which is not crazy. Um, before this was released, uh, though, I think the last time they, uh, they that Zippo released a copper Zippo, I think it was in 2003. So 2003 Zippos have been, keep in mind, that's uh, almost, or that is 20 years ago now. Those Zippos have been going for around $100 um, used just because, you know, it's copper and Zippo doesn't make, you know, they hadn't really re released a large quantity of copper Zippo since then. I think they might have done a few special releases, uh, but I believe all those were like limited edition for movies or for odds and ends things. But this is a large release. Um, these are very easy to get your hands on. And again, when if I would have bought a Copper Zippo a year ago, it would have been at least almost $100. And that's just because the rarity, um, there's not, you know, the, in the collector's market, that's how much it's going for. Um, and then Zippo comes out and releases it. So it was good to hold off. Um, I still want a 2003 Copper Zippo just to have in my collection. But this thing is gorgeous. Enough rambling on and the history um, in the background of a copper Zippo. Let's see what this baby looks like. Okay, so we're gonna take this top off. I have, um, I've looked at this. I have not opened it. I have not, um, you know, used it. All right, so we have some literature here. Thank you for joining. Zippo's exclusive copper pilot program. Limited edition, pre-production model. It says that, but I think Zippo's website is still selling this. They are very popular. Everyone is getting one. So it's, I don't know how limited production, you know, this really is, but um, it's probably gonna be one of those things with Zippo that once it's gone, it's gonna be gone for a little bit. And then we have the warranty, the Zippo guarantee, of course. And you can get a little murky image of what is to come. Oh, come on, I'll stop teasing you guys. And here we go. Look at that. I like these cases that are uh, slightly open. And um, when they're in their cases, you can see there is the black insert. Here's case. Pre-production model. Solid copper case with black insert, steel plated. Beautiful. Beautiful display. Beautiful, you know, um, look on the copper. As, um, as most of us know, uh, copper especially is very it always gets a very beautiful patina, better than brass, better than really silver, um, but just a beautiful green. Um, it just, the copper will, I believe, oxidize and um, gets this beautiful, like, just unique flavors and swirls on the case. It sounds weird, but um, I'll probably do a video update on this thing uh, in six months and a year. Just to show you a little bit better of what I mean. Um, as far as this black insert goes, it's very beautiful. However, I am not going to fire this. Um, I am going to daily carry it, but I'm going to keep the black insert as it is and uh, not use it. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to take out this black insert, set it aside, again, keeping it unfired, and replace it with this uh, the new Zippo Butane Soft Insert. Beautiful. I love these, especially if, if you're uh, not a daily smoker. These are uh, vacuum sealed butane, so the fuel doesn't evaporate like traditional uh, inserts like this one. So this will, and and uh, I've only I've refilled this once, but I mean I was lighting it for like three days in a row. So these I cannot recommend enough. It usually does go on the second fire for me, um, and then you just have to you roll it just like normal, and then you just have to keep pressing the button to release the butane. I mean, if you release the button, the flame, the butane stops and the flame will go out, okay? But enough of that. Let's open this up. Um, 
uniquely, these Zippos obviously don't have the sticker on the back, and that is because you can't put the sticker on if it's open like this. So let's get a good gander. Oh, there it is. Look, it still includes the sticker. Just um, on some wax paper, not open. Let's get a good up-close look. Oh, look, you can still see a little bit of the sticker imprint, but you can see where it's misaligned. So if you open it, line it like that, you can see the sticker was pressed up against it just like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's look at the bottom here. Copper Zippo 2022. Beautiful. Let's listen to this thing. Interesting sound. Um, I mean, it sounds silly um, to say Zippo sound different, but this one definitely does. Um, yeah, definitely sounds different. Beautiful. Now you can see the um, the little, what is it? Other side of the hinge is not copper. That'd be cool if the copper, if the hinge was copper too. But you can see it there, at the top of the lid. And let's take this insert out and get a look at it. Okay, and this is the first, uh, I believe, colored insert for the first time, 2022. Um, this is not matte. This is, maybe I misread it or something, but this is gloss uh, black. Beautiful. And we're going to take out this here, flint. And then I'm probably going to throw this back in the box. Um, you know, the insert is cool, but... I'm not gonna just display this insert in my case, so we'll probably do that. And who knows, maybe if I find the, the right Zippo that deserves a black insert. I think it's cool that it includes in this copper, but I would have preferred a copper insert as well. That would have been cool. And I don't think Zippo's ever done that. We're gonna drop this flint in the flint half pipe. Okay, whatever. Underwhelming. And then and then we're gonna throw the spring back in here. Keeping this uh, black insert unfired. I've seen a few other people that have purchased the copper Zippo, take out the black insert and keep it unfired too. Um, unless you're gonna you be using this daily and like really like the fuel evaporation, which I just, I, I can't get behind. It's it's annoying. Like you, when, by the time you actually need to use the Zippo, it's like all evaporated and you have to refuel it, which isn't the worst thing, but silly. Okay, so we're gonna put that right like that. And I'm gonna store this away. And with my copper Zippo, I'm gonna put in this butane insert. Beautiful fit, as you can see. And this is what I've seen other people putting in their butane inserts in their copper. Look at that, man. Oh man, I can't wait to just carry this thing all over. Show it off. Beautiful. It looks like it's a flat bottom on the Zippo. It doesn't have a lip to protect it. Man. Yeah, it's definitely the copper has a different sound and a feel. Um, again, it's hard to describe, but it feels just heavier, more muted. Man, this is a beautiful. I mean, I can even tell, you know, there's a difference between this and the brass. Um, um, fun fact, the Statue of Liberty is actually copper and was once shiny and reflective like this. Now it has that greenish shoe. That is pretty much the patina on the Statue of Liberty. Liberty, it used to be a gorgeous... Kind of penny color. I mean, it's it's really copper color, but it's like a gold, but brown and rich, beautiful color. So eventually, you know, this will look like uh, it belongs in the pocket of the Statue of Liberty. But man, this is beautiful. Perfect for my daily. And uh, I just hate that it has the sticker residue even when it doesn't have the sticker on it. <laughs> Can't make this, make these things up. But man, look at that. Beautiful, man. I could play with this thing. Uh, 
Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.